Hi, and welcome to the latest episode of the Good Works Podcast. Today, we're at one of our very favorite places, the Arnott Art Museum, and we're going to talk to you about some cultural institutions in the region. As always, stay tuned until the end when Sarah and I will tell you what we're looking forward to. So hi, Sarah. Hey. We have been doing some other things since the last episode of the Good Works Podcast. I know. I wonder if our viewers have gotten a chance to see, ooh, 45 grants in 45 hours. I hope so. And if they haven't had a chance to see it yet, it's on our website, it's on our YouTube channel, and it's on our Facebook page. Oh, good. So that's pretty easy to find. All right. And in case you're not sure, www.communityfund.org. So today, we are at the Arnott Art Museum. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love this space. In fact, I love the room that we're in. This is my very, very favorite room with my very, very favorite painting that I never remember the name of, but she's right up there. (laughs) Yes. In the black dress. I knew that was your favorite because anytime we're here, we always look Mm -hmm. at her. So I love it. We're lucky because we get to come to the Arnott Art Museum pretty often uh, as a course of our day job. But not everybody gets to make it to the Arnott Art Museum very often. I'm always amazed when, whenever we're talking about the Arnott Art Museum or I'm talking to friends who, you know, I'm just sharing what kind of we do and they say, you know, I've never been there. I know. I've lived here for 20 years, but I've never been there. And I'm like, you've never been there. So that's why we're here today. Yeah. We want to talk with the executive director, Rick Parazzolo. Welcome to the Good Works Podcast. Happy to have you and happy to be with you on Good Works. First of all, she's winter. Thank you. That's an That's easy one to remember. Yeah. And I think she's going to be on our Christmas card this year. So, <gasps> oh you know, we'll be all oh, in good right. shape we'll there. We'll get that. Wonderful. So, Rick, tell us a little bit about this majestic place. This was the home of the Arnett family. It was built in 1833. Mm-hmm. So we were saying there's some creeks and, and you know, you hear some sounds when you're visiting. But that's okay. We, we like the history in the place. Mm-hmm. This particular room actually wasn't built with the house in 1883, we, or sorry, 1833. We're in what was the side yard. Okay. But in the 1880s, our founder had continued to collect. He had done the grand tour of Europe and he had loved some American painters and he was buying and buying. And one of the great things that he did was invite people in the community to come to his house every weekend to just wander through his house and see his paintings. Oh, wow. And he found that, especially after one particularly strong trip to Europe, that he didn't have enough room to house everything. And so he built this space, which is, we call it the picture gallery as they did then, It's in the Victorian style, hung salon style, so that as Matthias Arnott, our founder did, he hung the paintings, as you can see, filled the walls so that you're you're sort of engulfed by the art in the space. And it's really, I told Randy earlier, it's a great place to come down and sit and do the the ugly work of figuring out your budget or (laughs) or, or, you know doing your paperwork it's a great place to sit down here and just experience the space and all those people who might have not been here in 20 years Mm -hmm. it's great that you're telling people to come because this is the place to come and really really enjoy so that's one of the reasons we wanted to have this episode now and i'm so excited that sarah's favorite painting is called winter Mm -hmm. is because we're about to dive into the very long winter of the Finger Lakes region. <laughs> yeah. And what better thing to do than visit some of our museums? Yeah. Because exactly. they're warm and toasty. And in the summertime, they might be a little more crowded with mm-hmm. visitors, mm-hmm. but in the winter, they just belong to us. So Rick, can you tell us a bit about your hours and maybe what it costs? How easy is it for people to come here? It's incredibly easy. And, and just as Matthias Arnett wanted this to be the space of the people, our members are always free every our events our programs always free including things like our yoga program on saturday morning yoga in the galleries um we're open uh let's see is that yes that's five days a week tuesday through saturdays we're here from 10 till 5 and noon till 5 on saturdays uh admission for non-members or what we like to call not yet members seven dollars uh five dollars for seniors uh, children, kids, students, whatever we call them, under 18 is free. Oh, and it's an interesting season for us now. We're celebrating the people of our community. We're calling this entire uh, exhibition season home. Oh, so I all of our programs and all of our exhibitions are around 
thoughts of home, feelings of refuge. We're, we're actually doing where uh, we've requested a speaker from the UN to come and talk about uh, the Syrian refugee yeah. crisis. I mean, we're sort of doing both aspects. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's a chance for us to sort of do both aspects of you know the comforts of home, as we were talking mm -hmm. about. But then there are people, both in our community and across the world, who don't have those things. Right. And we have exhibitions about that space featuring, I'm not going to tell you who, maybe I'll whisper to you all later. Um, <laughs> well, we're going to find out. <laughs> but a, a local artist whom we're very pleased to be giving a solo show to. And his work is actually what catalyzed the idea of the speakers, both from Cornell U and from the UN, to talk about those kind of issues. Well, I'm so happy you're doing that. And thank you. Thank you for having that kind of programming yeah. here in the winter. It means a lot to us, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of us can start to consider the Art and Art Museum our home if we oh. just come and you know make ourselves comfortable. We absolutely hope so. If we could boil it down to one sentence, that would be a great goal to make this the I almost said the artistic cultural home, but the home's good. Let's just oh, use the yeah. one word. Um, it we feel that way, and we like to make our guests feel that way, and everybody's invited. Well, all of these inst wonderful institutions, like the Arna Art Museum, the Rockwell Museum in Corning, the, the many historical societies, they don't belong to somebody else. They belong to all of us. So mm -hmm. should, we should all really be able to take pleasure in, in walking through and enjoying something that's truly ours. And what I'll say is this. If you're watching this and you feel like you would love to come and that admission price feels like something beyond what you can handle, mm -hmm reach out to the Community Foundation, mm -hmm. reach out to the museum. Let's have a conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. We don't want anyone to ever not take advantage of our cultural institutions because of their price. There are a lot of programs out there to help make these more affordable. As we said, children are free already. We, yeah. we want people to come here mm -hmm. and you can always touch base with us and, and see what we can do to maybe help you or your group yeah. or scout troop or church group or something. Never might be. Come here and see some of this. Yeah. So. Rick, thank you for being a visit or being a guest today. On thank our, you, and thank you for letting us visit your home and your home. <laughs> and our, I always tell <laughs> we have you know elementary school students here just about every school day, not so much in, in Christmas time, but yeah, but right. uh, throughout the school year, and they sit here on the floor and we talk about it. And I always say, These, this is your house, this is your home, this is your museum, these are your paintings. Then I have to say. Please don't touch them, yeah. and please don't, you know, and we explain all that why, yeah. but it truly is their space, yeah. and, and you're right, Sarah, I, I hope people hear your message. Yeah. Reach out to this foundation, yeah. but also yeah. call us. We'll find a way to make this welcoming place for everybody. Great. That's great. So Sarah, mm -hmm. other than obviously all of the wonderful things happening here yeah. this winter, yeah. And we're in front of this gorgeous Christmas tree. Yeah. We certainly have some holidays coming up. We've got Hanukkah and Christmas and New right. Year's and Kwanzaa right around the corner. Yeah. What are some things you're looking forward to? Well, um, all of those things, yeah. obviously, <laughs> and I don't want to rush any of them. No. I want to enjoy, and I want everybody else to enjoy everything, but I am going to jump to 2018. Um, January 11th, we'll be holding our grant award ceremony, and so yes. this is the culminating event um, for our fall grant making cycle. Mm -hmm. The grants haven't been approved yet by our board of directors, but I'm <laughs> super excited to say that the awards will probably be in the 50s um, as far as number That's of organizations number. being awarded. And so at the ceremony, um, it's just a wonderful day where we get to talk about all of the great things happening in our community and physically hand out the checks. So it's um, absolutely one of favorite. my very favorite days of the year. Yeah. And you can keep an eye on our website, yes. on Facebook. If you want to look for some more information, we'll be getting the word out. Yep. Yep. How so, about you? Well, Broadway series. Broadway series. <laughs> I know. I'm a broken record. <laughs> but everybody, the Broadway series is so good this mm -hmm. year at the Clement Center. It's so good. Um, and this winter, we're going to have a chorus line, oh. one of my all-time favorite shows, Kinky, Kinky Boots, Boots, which is so great mm -hmm. and beautiful. Those three shows have something for literally everyone. So if you have not yet gotten tickets or you haven't checked it out, I say go to all three. But if that's not something that you can make happen, right. pick one of them. Yeah. And you know, a lot like what we were saying earlier about the cultural institutions, mm -hmm. if there's a barrier, reach out. There Again, there are programs, yeah. there are ways to help people get in to see those shows. So take advantage of those and reach out to the foundation if uh, mm -hmm. you need to be pointed in the right direction. Well, Sarah, I don't know about you, but I'm excited to start our holiday season. Yes. 
I hope that everyone out there is having a wonderful holiday season as well. And thank you as always for sticking with us till the end of the Good Works Podcast. Thank you.